This is more like it. It's warm, sunny, and today's destination has a name which is funny because it's called the Beer Hunter, which I can only assume is a pun which alludes to the 1970s movie, The Deer Hunter. You know that one with the famous Russian roulette scene? Christopher Walken shoots himself in the heat. Anyway, should we get inside? The big game hunter challenge. If you can eat all this within, did I say 30 minutes or 50 minutes? Whatever, within some kind of time limit, you get the burger free and a free t-shirt. Pretty happy about that. I don't think Mrs. Beard would be content with the amount I've picked up so far on this trip. The beer hunter. Hi. I'm good, thank you. I came to do your, uh, you have like a burger challenge thing? Absolutely. All right. Yeah? yeah? Cool. Yeah. Um, I would love a glass of water. Okay, I I've do. been practicing my accent. That's... <laughs> I love it, I love Normally it. Normally I say water and people are like, what, 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 what the heck is that? Uh, where, grab a seat wherever, I'll yeah. bring you a pen and water. Okay, cool, thank you. Come on, man. Am I expected to read all that? Like a short story? There's one on YouTube under, uh, God, it was a YouTube channel a couple of years ago. It was under the Beer Hunter Burger Challenge, our original one. Oh, right, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you changed it. It's different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. it's a little bit. It's yeah. big enough. Are you a professional eater? I don't know if I would call myself a professional. <laughs> I could never eat it. No? So I think it works out to about seven pounds total. Oh, God. All right. Transpires, this is the second iteration of the uh, of the food challenge. It's bigger than the, the previous version. So they called it, rather ingeniously, the even bigger Game Hunter challenge. It's here, it's, it's, it's come out pretty quickly. You think it's gonna stay up like that? Yeah, not for long. <laughs> Perfect, man, yeah. Right. Woo. What do you think? Think I can do it? Yeah, I think you got this. Yeah? Yeah. I like the confidence. It's, stay, it's staying up, look at that. Yeah. That's the sign of a, a well-made burger, if it stays. I'm ready, sorry it took me so long. So I'm at a place called The Beer Hunter. Is it like a play on words, the, you know, the movie The Deer Hunter? Yeah, it is. I thought it would be. I'm taking on the even bigger game hunter challenge, right? Because it's bigger than the previous version. Yeah. And how much does it cost? $39.99. How long do you get? Half an hour. You get half an hour. If you finish it, it's free and you get a t-shirt. Do you get a t-shirt? Uh, yes. Yeah. And a Love picture. A and your picture goes on our wall of fame. Oh, nice. Okay, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna eat the mini burger first. Yeah, it seems as good a place to start as any, doesn't it? What's up, Benami? Welcome back to yet another episode. Today we're in a place called Spruce Grove. Having a bash at this monstrosity. I really wanna get that t-shirt. Didn't get one in the last episode. Oh, fortunately, the bun's kinda of kept the heat in. The bun and the cheese. Yeah, it took a while setting up, so I was a little bit worried. The patties would be clapped cold by now, but I think, largely due to their fat content, they kept the heat pretty well. Server must know I'm a mucky pup, because she's coming in clutch with some extra napkins. Thank you very much. Yeah, no doubt. We'll need those at some point in the not-too-distant future. You get 30 minutes to finish this one in order to secure the $40 meal on the house, a spot on the wall of fame, and uh, an all-important winner's t-shirt which no doubt comes in triple XL as standard. Not that it really matters. I never wear them, to tell you the truth. This almost tastes like it has syrup on it, like maple syrup. It's really sweet. It's yummy. Yummy. Quite the food critic, aren't you, son? See if I can do any better. The patties are moist. They break up nice and easy. And they have quite a unique, sweet undertone to them. A bit like a, a Neil Diamond song, yeah. Right, the burger's done, just the fries to go, of which there are many. I'm not a huge ketchup fan, but uh, just anything to moisten them up, really. Oh, they're not bad, actually. Pretty fluffy in the middle. Thankfully, yeah, since you do get a, a pretty big helping. They're homemade, though, so none of those dirty freezer chips, which is always a bonus. And a surprise, you don't really expect that from a sports bar. I'm running low on agua now. Can I possibly get a little water? Thank you. 
18 minutes left. I was hoping I'd finish before she got back. Then you get all the shock and all like, oh my god! I don't think this is seven pounds. I don't know what that girl was talking about. Nah. It's not often though that a restaurant oversells the weight on a challenge. Normally it's the opposite. But I don't think this is seven pounds, unless maybe I'm getting half decent at this whole eating lark again. <laughs> no more than five pounds, I don't think. Maybe six? Which begs the question, how easy was the original one? No wonder they changed it. How's it going, fellas? That, that was me being as Canadian as possible. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm trying to win some free food. Yeah, I don't know if that helped abate their confusion. I thought I'd better try and explain myself, though. I think she was impressed. Steady on. There's a fine line between awe and disgust. What are we now? 15 minutes in? 15 and a half minutes? I can practically smell the t-shirt. What we got left? Just a few mouthfuls of fries and a bun. I feel like I want to introduce some peer pressure to the dining scenario. Nobody's even thinking about ordering the challenge. What's going on, man? Yeah, I left the bottom bun to the end. Should be nice and juicy now. Yeah, and juicy it was. Just a couple of bites to go. And we're home and housed. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you the next one. Yeah, the burger challenge, you're gonna order one? Pizza cake, look at that. You get yourself some free food and a t-shirt. Everyone loves a lunchtime hero. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, I've got some left in my mouth, but I've pretty much done it. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah I think so. Got some scraps under my plate there. I don't know how long that took, but uh... Yeah, you had 10 minutes and you got seconds left. Can I see, do you guys have a dessert menu? Yes. So we have the score cheesecake or the chocolate chip cheesecake. What is score? Oh, I guess uh, It's like a hard caramel cheesecake with like little hard caramel bites on top. Sounds delicious. Can I get one of those? Yeah, absolutely. Not the whole cheesecake, just a slice. But, Come uh... on, you can do it. <laughs> I am the big game hunter. Burger eating champ. That implies that there can only be one though. I should really say one of the champs or just that you finished it, right? Yeah. There's a shiny happy people. A song which REM frontman Michael Stipe famously resented. Probably because it was a little bit cheesy. Nothing wrong with that though, is there? Everyone loves a, a corny tune from time to time. I do one every Christmas. Oh, that's gooey. Tastes good though. Three hours back to Calgary now. I really should plan these trips better. That wasn't too tricky. This is not a car review channel, but um, I have to say I'm rather impressed by the old the San Cash guy. Quite good fuel economy. That's about as much as I know about cars. I don't know if it's like four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, three-wheel drive. It probably doesn't exist, does it? Hey, look at that. <laughs> Mr. Lube. Yeah, that's a wipe everything up. <laughs>